As you open up the projects, you will see a wide variety of projects already made for you, but don't worry, you can go in and customize each and every one of these. We are going to edit the 19 original design, and if you are happy with how this is, you can easily add it to the cart, or you can go to the layout designer for any editing you want to make. The very first thing that I want to do is change this from 1970 to 1990. So as you click on the 70, it will pop up a text box where it will show you what the font is. And we can simply go in and change that very easily from the 70 to the 90. And then we will need to do a little bit of resizing so you can use the scroll bar under the font size to make that a little bit smaller to fit in the canvas area. In that same pop-up box, you can change the color, but I really want to add a pattern to this design. So as you click on pattern and scroll, there's this really fun watercolor pastel that really reminds me of the 90s. So I am going to select on that pattern to import over the 90s. From there, you can even use the scroll bar to adjust the pattern. And if you want it to be a little more condensed, you can scroll it all the way over to the left, but I kind of want it in the middle. I also want to go in and add a stroke color because I really want this rainbow pattern to pop on the t-shirt I'm going to make. I also see that I need to make some adjustments to the other layers. So over on the left, we will click on each individual layer and use the scroll bar to move them up and down on the canvas to make sure I get them aligned perfectly. Now that my design is ready, I am going to scroll down and put a name and save the project. And then over to the right, you can change the size to match up to any shirt that you are looking to put this on if you need it as a small or a 2x, but we are going to save this as a large canvas, which is the 10 inch by 10 inch size. You even have the option to change the background of your canvas, so that way you can see what your design is going to look like on the color shirt that you are going to put it on. After you save your project, you will see a proof option that comes up so that way you can double check your design and you can even download the canvas to save for later. Once you are happy with how your project looks, you can add as many as you need to your cart. We are going to be doing a group of shirts for some friends. So we are going to up the quantity and add it to our cart. And from there, you just complete the rest of the checkout process. We will print these out for you and get them shipped as quickly as possible.